The superiority of the gospel is not seen in anything that I've described yet as much as the one I'm about to give you. I have made it my job to read the word of God every day and pray every day for God to show me another element of the gospel that absolutely destroys arguments. And this one is the best. Because let me tell you above all else, Americans are slaves. Slaves to a habit. Whenever I'm in the tent and I walk in and there are thousands of people on drugs, people in gangs, people with every kind of emotional hurt you can imagine. I know they're addicted. And I want to tell you, there's not a man who is addicted to alcohol that ends up beating his wife that doesn't then turn around and beat himself up for that and promises him a thousand times himself, I'm never going to do it again. I'm not going to look at porn anymore. I'm not going to put a needle in my arm. I'm, no powder up my nose, no pill, no fentanyl, no crystal meth, no pipes. I'm going to get rid of this habit. And they die trying. And they go back, and they go back, and they go back. One day a woman stood by the well of Jacob in John chapter 4. She was from Samaria. And Jesus asked her for water. Her response was very clear. Why are you a Jew asking me, a Samaritan, for water since we don't have any dealings with each other? When, in the next breath, Jesus could have rebuked her. But instead, he demonstrated his divine power to know you. See, you in this room, nobody knows you like Christ. He knows your thoughts. He knows your want. He knows what would make you happy. You don't. He does. And so he looked at her and he said these words. If you knew the gift. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest cry of my heart. When the church forgot what the gift of the gospel is, she stopped winning souls. More than the left, more than communism, more than globalists, more than, than the pandemic, nothing took America down the road of disaster that we're in, like the silence of the church that stopped winning souls. And she stopped winning souls because she let the world define the gospel for her. And instead of pushing back on the world and saying, everything you're saying about Christ is wrong, and you have no idea how superior this message is to anything you have. And so, here we go. He said, if you knew the gift, the next thing he's doing is beyond words, profoundly wonderful. He's projecting what her action would be if she understood what Christianity was. You don't know how many times I've said that. I've said that at Princeton. I said it at Stanford University. I've, I've said it in places and I've never backed down. I said the reason many of you in this room are atheists is you don't know the gospel. You don't know what it is. You don't understand the gift. You don't know what happens to your body, your mind, and your spirit when you surrender to Christ. You have no idea. If you had an inkling, if you had a clue, if you had even one iota, of the hope, the greatest gift that I would ever ask God for, and I've said it I don't know how many times in an altar call, if I could take the peace and joy that I feel right now, put my hand on your chest so that you would feel it for about 30 seconds, your will to stay away from God would be destroyed in an instant because you will know in that moment that you have never felt anything that approaches that. So he says to the woman at the well, if you knew the gift, you would have asked and received living water. That's what he called the gospel. He said you would have asked and received living water. And how does he know that? He said, I know you and I know what you've been through and I know how you feel. And I know that if you tasted this and if you understood who I was and my motive, you would have asked and received living water. 
So then he says to her, this water right here will leave you thirsty. This water right here, you have to physically get something down there, pull up a heavy bucket of water. That's the only way you can get water. But the water that I give you will well up inside of you. It'll well up when you're depressed. It'll well up when you're alone. It'll well up when you don't understand what's going on in your life. It'll well up when somebody rejects you. It'll well up every single time life hits you. Now watch. She says, give me the water so that I will never come back here again. That's when it hit me. And Jesus said, okay, I'll give you the water, but first call your husband. And she gave him that look and said, I don't have a husband. You notice how he didn't mention her sin until after he had mentioned the water. Until he had declared the power of the gospel to change her, he did not bring up her sin. But he did bring up her sin. And when he did, she said, I don't have a husband. And he said, that's right. Because you've had five husbands and you're living with a man right now. And she said, I think you're a prophet. Why did he tell her she'd never go back to that well? Because that's where she met men. She wasn't mad at Christ. She was mad at herself. And what psychiatrists tell us is that free-floating anger is one of the most common American traits right now. The idea that, that I'm mad at you, but I'm really mad at myself. Why am I back in this bar? Why am I in another adulterous affair? Why can't I break the vicious curse that's on me? I'm doing everything that I don't want to do. I'm hitting my wife. I don't want to hit her. I'm abandoning my kids. I don't want to do it. Inside, these thoughts tick like a ticking bomb. I want to be a father. I want to be a husband. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mother. I want to be decent. So then what do you do? You go into a lifestyle where you're degrading yourself because you have admitted I can never change. That's the current youth culture. What you think is a celebration is a surrender. It is decided I can never ever be cured. And Jesus said this, this gospel of mine will get in you and will give you the power to say no and the power to realize you are not a woman available for a man to use, but you are the daughter of a king. I need some 